what is happening throughout the month of August? What's coming your way? What kind of energies you will be dealing with? What are the challenges? But also what are the blessings coming your way? That is exactly what you will find out in this reading today. I will look at the overall energy of the month of August, but also give you a couple of hints on how to maybe deal with what's coming your way this month. So right now I want you guys to choose one pile that you feel the most drawn to. Group one, group two and group three. So all the timestamps for all the groups are in the description box. I want you to look for your timestamp, click on it, and then I will see you in your reading. Please feel free to pause the video if you guys need more time to select your piles. So pause it right now. Other than that, I'm starting with the group number one. Hi, group number one. So these are your cards. Let's get started with the overall energy of the month. That is something that I like to check the most at the beginning of a monthly reading. So this is the overall energy surrounding you throughout the month of August 2022. The first card, the Knight of Pentacles. We also have Page of Swords reversed. And one more card, King of Cups. I'm definitely seeing you making progress throughout the month, going slowly forward. The Knight of Pentacles is one of the slowest nights from, uh, for me. So I really feel like you are making progress, but you're taking like a more laid back approach. This could be, for example, getting to know somebody, uh, taking your time to really understand uh, what they stand for and what kind of people they are before you're going to open up with your feelings or take any next step. I'm actually also seeing someone coming your way this month, giving you a present or trying to offer you something. I feel like it's a good thing and it's going to um, make you feel very appreciative of this person or of this opportunity even. But either way, I see you uh, on your own, like personally, slowing down, kind of catching a breath, but still, you know, walking forward. It's not like you're taking a total break or total pause, but this month, I feel like you're not going to be so harsh on yourself in regards to your goals, um, the things that you want to achieve or the person that you want to be. I feel like you're going to let loose a little bit, but it's still a very like rational decision. It's still really well thought. It's like if you plan the break because you know that you your mental health really needs it and you're making it uh, like more even like practical you know wanting to be in the best shape or like in the best form anyway moving forward we have the page of swords being in reverse right so this comes with a lot of messages Page of Swords reverse often represents opportunity that is not fully worth fighting for. So that could happen throughout the month of August. There might something might come your way, uh, or you might just realize that something in your life is maybe not worth fighting for so much. I gotta also say the Page of Swords in reverse. The Page of Swords is a messenger of news. So when this card being in reverse, I see that it could come, the Page of Swords could come with some shocking news your way. Something in regard to some sort of like paperwork, maybe taxes, um, business contracts. Sometimes this also could be representing someone talking behind your back or yeah, like a gossip basically, um, or lies. So I do want to say that you should pay attention and be aware of someone possibly that is put in your life or that is in your life, maybe at work or maybe it's, you know, someone closer to you that is speaking lies, that is maybe gossiping behind your back or it doesn't have the greatest intentions. I feel like if it's a person, it's someone that is definitely like a troublemaker, someone that is very convincing. Um, so it's easy for them to convince others, but it's, it is in a 
like toxic way. Uh, the page of swords reverse usually is not very right. Uh, yeah, I just feel like it could be someone that spreads gossip around you. So be careful who you basically are giving some information to. Sometimes this also could be representing you. Maybe you just, you know, sharing the secret of somebody else that you are not supposed to share. Maybe it's going to slip off somehow. Uh, basically, I feel like the advice for you here is to just uh, watch your own tongue, but also be aware of the people that you share your secrets or something with. Uh, there also might be a person in your life acting this way. I feel like around that time, conversations might turn into arguments very quickly because someone, this page of swords person, does not fully think through what they're saying. So once again, that could be you or that could be somebody else in your life and that be, could be causing some troubles throughout the month of August. But moving on, we have the King of Cups, which is a very nice card. So the King of Cups could be representing you or somebody in your life. If it would be representing you, if this card would be representing you throughout the month of August, I see that your intuition is really on point. You're very connected with your intuition, with your gut feeling. You can sense things. Your intuition is basically guiding you. Uh, I feel I feel like here, to be honest, with a page of swords in reverse as well, the advice for you for the month of August is to listen to your gut when making decisions, when, yeah, I feel like mostly when making decisions, because your, like, rational way of looking at things is not going to maybe be the best option this month, this particular month. So listen to your heart more rather than what your mind is telling you about. The King of Cups could also be a person entering your life or playing a big role in your life around um, this month, the month of August. So this is definitely someone as a peacemaker, someone that wants the best for you and the wants the best outcome for everyone kind of around. This person is very sympathetic and also empathic. Uh, it's like a shoulder to cry on, but also someone that is really emotionally mature. So that could be a person entering your life in a romantic way. That could be someone that is already there in a romantic way that um, maybe it's going to help you throughout the month or it's just going to play a big role in your life this month. This also could be a friend that is going to be there for you. It's also someone really artistic, creative, so maybe you're going to gain some knowledge, some wisdom from that person. Or you're just going to feel more creative this month and be more in your feminine energy rather than masculine. All right, let's move forward and let's see. We have protection, finding what's important. So this month you are really paying attention to what's going on in your life, how your life looks like, what are the things that maybe you would like to get rid of from your life, what are the things, um, the behavior, maybe the methods, maybe the routines that you would like to um, add into your life or what kind of energy you would like to invite into your life. You're really asking yourself what is important to you and getting rid of the things that are not that important. Maybe goals, maybe you have one particular goal that you are working towards. However, you've been working on it for so long that you kind of forgot what was the most important thing in that goal or in that achievement, like what was the original idea? I feel like you are going back to the roots. That's how it feels. And you are, <laughs> I feel like having a big revelation or big realization that the things that you have been doing maybe are not really taking you to the place where you wanted to go. Maybe that you have lost your way a little bit and you're kind of like, getting back on the right track as I was saying with the knight of pentacles like planning out and doing the reassessment that's how it feels you're also a protection you're also protecting your energy from the people or things around you that are just not worth your time and energy 
love that for you let's move on we also have a card miracle making a difference cool so i feel like some miracle might happen to you this month you might feel like it's a miracle making a difference let's see actually what it says in the guidebook ask for a miracle place an intention on a situation and allow the universe to flow through and provide really ask and set the intention this is to be emphasized Ooh. Okay, ask, set and ask the intention. And when you receive your miracle blessing, sing gratitude into the stars. Ask for a miracle. So ask the universe for assistance. I feel like that is a big advice here for you. So when in doubt, ask the universe to help you out, to show you the way. Ask like if you would ask in a store, you know? <laughs> If you would go to the store and you could just have anything that you wanted, how would you ask for it? You have to put it into words and ask the universe to show you the way or to give you the solution. And I feel like it really will throughout the month of August. It will push you to the right direction and make you realize what path you're supposed to be walking on. Like you're going to be recentered. That's how it feels. So we also have the, the challenges of the month and also the blessings, good things. Let's start with the challenges so we can end on the blessings. <laughs> okay, so we have the Nine of Swords reversed. So, okay, this card, this is a tricky card. It's either talking about getting uh, better, uh, about overcoming depression, stress, anxiety, or <laughs> this also could be a card that says, um, that indicates that things might get a little bit worse before they're going to get better. So things might get a, a little bit more stressful because before they are going to kind of disappear, you know? Mm. So it can go both ways for you. But I feel like this month is really a month for you to take things seriously to sort things out once and for all what this card this is exactly what this card is about um depending on the scenario as i was mentioning it's either getting better or getting a little bit worse but the feel the feeling that i have with this card is when it comes out it tells you that there's a chance to clear your worries and find help right now it's like a small window of opportunity that appears in your life but it is all up to you um, to mobilize yourself, to get out of that state of being, to get out of that hole that you put yourself in or someone put you in, to realize that now you have to take things into control or like into into your own hands. So don't stay this way throughout the August, the month of August. And with the card Sagittarius expand. So this is still about challenges for this month. Sagittarius expand. So expansion might be challenging. It's probably, as I said, because of what's going on in the background. You are slowing down. You are rethinking things, which is really important in order to move forward. It's just, I feel like you won't be able to reach out as far as you would be prefer or like to this month um, this could be read as if you're for example on social media and you're trying to reach to new people or you know you have your own business here and you're trying to find new clients um, it could be challenging this month it could be um, it could not go as smoothly as it used to maybe or you are not going to get a, get the results that you planned for or wanted this also could be referring to traveling, um, going also like traveling long distance though, I would say. There might be some delays there, some difficulties there. You also might be challenging your own beliefs or the beliefs that you have might be somehow changing and that could be challenging. Uh, in regards to the blessings, we have Chiron heal. So we, I'm seeing, so I'm seeing that you are healing this month, and you need this time off. You know, you need this time of slowing down to heal, to regenerate, maybe mentally or 
physically. I see you even taking breaks from social media, to be honest, and being more in nature with the page of cups, feeling more creative, um, becoming more inspired and more motivated to create again, um, create for your business, create for your hobbies, create just because you want to express yourself. Uh, this could be painting, this could be drawing, singing, writing something, building something, designing something, or even playing with your clothes and with your look, feeling more inspired to act this way. I feel like it's because you are slowing down, because you're more grounded, because you have more time for yourself. You are giving that time to yourself to have it off, to kind of get back into your own being, <laughs> into yourself, into who you were meant to maybe be in this lifetime or who you actually want to be in this lifetime. Kind of catching up with yourself, that's how it feels. But I also gotta say the Page of Cups could be signifying crushing on someone or someone crushing on you. It's a mutual crush. <laughs> so I feel like someone might um, appear in your life that is going to make you have uh, butterflies in your stomach once again. Wow, I really love that reading for you, group one. I hope you enjoyed it too. I hope you are going to have an amazing month of August. Let me know in the comments how the last month was for you, the month of July. And if you're excited for August, please also leave a like under this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and you would like to see more videos like so. You can also book a personal reading with me. The link is up here and also in the description box. And I will see you guys in my next one. Have a good day. And group two, so let's get started with your reading. We have three tarot cards for you that are going to explain the overall vibe energy of the month of August for you. We also have some oracle cards and on the left I have challenges and on the right I have blessings. So what's coming? We're going to get into details. Let's get the overall vibe of the month, like what's going to be happening for you guys this month. We have judgment. We also have the King of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. So with these cards, guys, I'm feeling like this month you are going to be realizing that the seeds that you have planted in the past, that they have already grown into a flower or like into a tree. This month you are seeing your progress and I feel like you're seeing it through like physical form so uh through material maybe objects or through the wealth let's just say that is surrounding you this month i feel like you are going to achieve something um it is going to be a success with the king of pentacles because this card is talking about your hard work really paying off or starting to pay off so i feel like it is not going to be a full manifestation it's not going to be the full wish you know desire coming true however let's just say that you are getting really close to maybe the goal that you have set for yourself to the dream to the maybe the life that you have imagined you're getting closer and closer and i feel like during the month of august you're going to get um, like a confirmation of it, of all your work really starting to pay off. Seven of Pentacles is also a card of re-evaluation and just going through the details or looking at the details, realizing if there is um, any way to improve or if we should just let something be because it's already really well prepared. I see that throughout this month, you are going to be checking on things like that. It could be in your career, it could be in your relationships, it could be any kind of a thing that you wanted to bring into your physical 3D world. You will see the signs of getting there, and I feel like it is going to be quite an abundant month for you. And I feel like you are going to be feeling like you're looking forward to the future and what else is to come your way. 
I feel like you're feeling very appreciative this month because you're seeing these physical manifestations around you. So we also have the judgment, which is a card of walking on your own path, on your own way, uh, kind of like playing dancing is that how you say it dancing to your own beat of the drum <laughs> you are deciding this month to um, listen to your own intuition and what your soul wants you to do and what direction um, you feel like you are supposed to walk on with the judgment card i see you walking on your own path this month deciding and choosing that own path uh, not listening to what other people want you to do or how they want you to be uh, acting, behaving. I feel like you are not um, influenced as much as maybe you used to be in the past by what other people are saying about you or about other people's expectations. The judgment also makes me feel like this month you could be giving a speech um, that could be formal or that could be having a really deep conversation with someone uh, in your life about yourself, maybe about your path, about what you want. I'm just seeing uh, some of you having some conversation like that with someone or just giving a speech. Maybe even going to some event where there's like a public speaker, um, maybe some spiritual guru talking about something that you truly resonate with. Someone like that might appear, I think, in your life during the month of August. This person might be also the king of pentacles, that could be them. So this is um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo person. I gotta say also that the King of Pentacles person might be playing a role in your life. So once again, it's an Earth sign. Someone that is really well off, someone that is uh, really intelligent, knows how to invest in themselves and how to kind of like invest back. That's how it feels. I feel like this person might teach you something during this month, help you somehow, give you some good advice, or you might be looking up to someone like that throughout this month, uh, trying to also embody that energy in yourself. Um, and I feel like once again, you will achieve that probably through these like little successes that I was talking about with the Seven of Pentacles, seeing, you know, some success um so a little manifestation that's how it feels let's move on let's move on so we have the self gathering your power let me see guys if you can see it yeah okay so we have the self gathering your power yeah you are becoming more powerful you are feeling more powerful this month and i do think it's because you are seeing um like the physical manifestation or the physical confirmation of your hard work or so you are also feeling more like yourself with the judgment and gathering your power the self you're just feeling better in your body you're just feeling better mentally because you are following your own path with the judgment and you're listening to yourself and because of that maybe um or due to that some of the things that you used to be a challenge are no longer a challenge or maybe some problems even will disappear it made me think of like letting go of a friend i feel like that's a message uh, for someone here a very specific message that throughout the month of august you might just let go of a friend uh which could be challenging but then i feel like you just decide to stick up for yourself that's how it feels um, because of that your paths might cross however time you will realize that it was a good decision because that person was also coming um into your life with baggage um thing that they have to on their own figure out think that maybe was weighing you down and i feel like uh it's going to make you feel more powerful because you will no longer need to like carry that baggage and i feel like you're really going to feel that you might be reflecting on um things that you have started with a seven of pentacles as well 
All right, we also have healing, restoring hope. So you're feeling more hopeful for the future. I feel like in general, you're feeling much more positive than maybe a month or two ago, or just in general lately. Um, this month is going to be a really nice one for you so far. So let's see the challenges, maybe. Maybe we can see the challenges and things might turn out the other way so we have the five of cups okay so there is some disappointment there is something coming this month that might be quite challenging it might be quite shocking at the beginning um it could be a message from someone that you will receive it could be uh maybe some plans are going to get cancelled this also could be for some of you i gotta say separation from someone that maybe you cared about a lot the thing is with the five of cups it's not going um this energy is not going to take over everything for you because there are still standing cups three of them are spilled and obviously she's very sad about it however there are two more standing behind her and i feel like that is this hope um, that you are restoring this month so there might be something challenging like this happening however once again i feel like uh you will get back from it quite quickly i feel like you will still feel hopeful or it's not going to fully break you that's how it feels um there's always a way out basically and i feel like you're going to be reminded of that this month all right and we also have a card sixth house sustainability i actually had to look into uh, the guidebook for this um because i wanted to remind myself the sixth house is it's a virgo house so where you live your daily habits okay your daily habits your environment your pets uh, your mind body connection and how you tend your health so these could be also topics um die might appear in your life that might be uh bringing some sort of challenge this month and the advice for you is to work smarter not harder look at the time resources love care and sweat you put into your life and assess whether you are putting as much in as you get out and whether you're receiving as much as you put in the input and output have to match may Maybe not every day, but certainly every week or every month, or you cannot sustain the long haul. So I feel like once again, this reevaluation comes into play with a tarot card with a seven of pentacles. So you reevaluating some areas of your life where you just feel like you're not getting maybe enough in return, that the energy that you put into something is not the energy that you get back in return. And um, that might be this disappointment. That could be like a realization that you have to actually move forward uh, with something or without something, someone. Let's look at the blessings though for you. So, oops, we have Aquarius collaborate. So there might be some great collaboration that you might be doing with somebody, with uh, a work colleague, maybe. Maybe there will be project that you guys are going to be working on maybe it could be signifying a new team at work at school all right i also see that those of you that have your own businesses or are uh, entrepreneurs content creators etc uh, you guys might be collaborating with someone from your field with someone that does something similar um the aquarius card yeah someone might be in general helping you out with something uh you're i see you like working with other people to create something to do something um all right this also could be protest um i'm thinking so some of you maybe are going on a pro protest like literally protesting with somebody else um and in general, I feel like being quite social this month as well. An Aquarius person might be playing a role in your life this month. 11, maybe the day, the 11th. Um, or you could be an Aquarius. <laughs> okay, so we also have the star in reverse, though. Okay. So it's a, it's a blessing, though. So what this makes me feel like... Hmm. So the star is about destiny for me and also like 
and the divine timing. So when it's in reverse, it's about not being in the right time at the right place. And I feel like it is a blessing as in this is like a confirmation for you that something that maybe you once hoped is going to work out this month i feel like it's connected with this disappointment you know it's a blessing in disguise that's how it feels literally the star in reverse blessing but in disguise and then we have this disappointment but also hope so yeah something is going to happen this month something is going to be triggered uh, probably because of the fact that you want to treat yourself better and the fact that you will be reflecting on your life and deciding what has to go, what can stay and what has to go. You're letting go of something. It brings a challenge. It is sad. It's not easy, but then it's a blessing in disguise because this was never meant to be or so with the star in reverse it wasn't the right timing or it was just never meant to be in general or it's just not the right timing for this to be like fully yours that's how it feels it's a really a uh, specific message but i hope someone is resonating with that so in general you are definitely on the right path this month going through some changes uh, by seeing the progress and being excited excited for the future hope you guys enjoyed this reading leave a like if you did let me know in the comments how did you guys like it and what are you excited about in the month of august i'll see you in my next one bye wow group three <laughs> i can already tell that this is a month of getting your stuff together <laughs> literally you have the emperor so you are getting serious this month about your plans about your goals about your life like i see you just literally sitting and writing like to-do lists and calculating everything and writing every everything down and like coming up with ideas and um fun this is fun but it's a lot of work we have the emperor and then we have two pages uh, sorry not pages two pentacles Pentacles are about hard work <laughs> so and also money and also success and other things and um, but uh, with the page of pentacles I see you starting some new journey this month um, you see with this emperor here and the page of pentacles I see you setting things up um, you are having very high expectations of yourself and of achieving some sort of goal that you have set for yourself. You're not sure yet how you're going to get there. However, you got prepared. Like Page of Pentacles is the most prepared of all the pages. He got ready. He is not sure yet exactly what's to come or how we how he's going to get somewhere, but he's the most prepared. So I see you starting some journey off. Um, it is connected with investing in yourself, with your career, with money, with finances, with something that will bring you wealth. It doesn't have to be like necessarily oh you just care about money but i feel like it's going to bring abundance and wealth into your life and this month is where you maybe start implementing these ideas that you have prepared and you are starting to work on making it happen you're planning it out i really like it it's like the energy that people usually have at the beginning of uh, a new year <laughs> you know they sit either on the last day of the uh, of the previous year or the first day the first week of the new year and they are writing down what they want to achieve this year i mean i'm not saying everyone does that but <laughs> it's this uh, energy that you are excited about the future and you have really great ideas and expectations for yourself uh, and i see you implementing them already um, and i see you already taking a step forward this month Page of Pentacles could also be representing student, scholar, 
uh, college in general so maybe getting ready for college or getting ready maybe you have just finished university and you are excited about what's to come next basically the page of pentacles is about starting small but thinking big having big plans for ourselves this month you are also very focused on the quality not quantity you are trying to master improve some sort of skill of yours and you are working really hard i feel like this month you are quite busy very productive but the thing is that work that you're doing throughout the month it doesn't feel like a chore it doesn't feel like something that you gotta do it's more like it's something that brings you satisfaction uh, and it's something that drives you. So it's not a boring kind of work or challenge. I feel like you are up for it, definitely. Because you're also being encouraged by what's happening around you. And the results I feel like you already uh, made or the progress that you already made, it's really visible. This is quite... Um, similar this reading is quite similar to the group number two so if you guys were drawn to two or three i feel like maybe you could watch both piles or both uh, groups if you want to either way eight of pentacles and the page of pentacles could be talking about taking some new class course or online study anything that will improve your existing skills and expertise you're very committed to anything that you set your mind into and i do think that you are paying big attention also to your health mental health your physical health you're trying to be and successfully are very disciplined this month your father might play a big role in your life. Page of Pentacles does not have to necessarily mean you, that scholar or student, that student, scholar, apprentice. It could be maybe uh, one of your children or someone around you that you're close with. Starting or finishing university, or that could be you. So let's move on and let's see what else we have. We have Transcendence, Achieving Success. Oh my God, literally. Like, I can make this up. Achieving success. So, you are achieving some success this month. Congratulations. I feel like it's so well deserved. I feel like you've put in your will. Keep on putting a lot of work and a lot of your energy and your dedication into it. So, congratulations. Uh, let's see. Independence. Carving your own path. So, you've been carving your, your own path up to this point but you are feeling um, extremely independent. Maybe you are realizing how well you've been doing. I think you are feeling very proud of yourself this month. All right, and let's look into the guidebook to see what is the message from the author uh, of this beautiful card and what is the advice for you for this month of August. So it says, uh, independence carving your own path. Actively scan your thoughts, mind, and belief system to weed out any preconceived notions of what one should do in a situation. To each his own, and it is every person's right to actively press forward down a road less traveled and path of one's own choosing. Hmm. Actively seek freedom and independence with each new day in every situation. You do not require validation or the opinions of others. Love that for you. I do want to see transcendence now. Let's quickly take a look at it. So it says it isn't just about winning and getting what you want. It's what happens after that. Time to go to the next level see as i said oh my god this is all so well connected um i did feel like you are starting something new but also you are seeing the results of something that you've been working on so so much already and it keeps you motivated all right um uh, time to go to the next level transcend transform reach out and re redefine Redefine yourself once you have earned your victory. Reinvent and renew. We're going out with a bang. <laughs> okay. And one more thing. Embrace each new successful endeavor 
and then transcend to reach untold new levels of satisfaction and appreciation. It's time to evolve, plot your course, steer your ship, and celebrate each new victory. Oh my god, I love that for you. All right, let's maybe get to challenges, okay? It's getting too sweet here. <laughs> All right, passion. Passion is your challenge this month. Passion, and I feel like creativity. I feel like you're very much in your mind, which is okay, at least for this month, um, <laughs> to be like this all the time, because if you're so much in your mind, if you're so much in your masculine energy, and you are with these cards here, and this is the overall vibe of the month, some other areas of your life might um, suffer. The Six of Cups and the, five, the Fifth House. So the Fifth House is about passion and our creativity the fifth house is a house of children and it's also um, our inner child basically and how funny that we have this image next to it i'm saying inner child that could be that could be the metaphor here but either way i feel like you're just not having as much fun as your inner child would like you to have um i feel like that could be a challenge because you might be seeing that you're spending a lot of time on working on your goals, which brings satisfaction. It's something that you want to do, but at the same time, you're not uh, maybe giving enough time to other passions that are not um, this project, this goal that you have. You know, maybe you should take your time and give yourself time to play some video games do something that you used to really like and enjoy as a kid where life uh, was not all about money and becoming successful and achieving things but about just enjoying the moment having fun um, finding new hobbies interests and being curious i feel like you're just not being so curious this month and as i said i do think it's fine because you are doing so well in other areas of your life however this is kind of a reminder that there is a challenge in here that you should give yourself more space and more time to just have fun without thinking of everything else and or the um, this thing you know that is taking most of your time throughout the month of August. Your creativity might be halted. That's how it feels with the fifth house. You might not feel as inspired as you used to maybe. The six of cups as a challenge could also be your, someone from the past basically coming into your life, um, visiting you, revisiting you maybe you are revisiting some places from your past and it's somehow challenging it also could be about children so might be some problems with children um maybe, maybe arguments or miscommunications etc with the blessings we have the 10th house and we have the lovers all right so spending a lot of time with your romantic partner if you have one maybe it's your anniversary guys or maybe it's someone's birthday or you're just going on a really nice vacation having fun you feel like you have um, they have your back and you have a full support from them or you're just um getting each other this month you're really getting each other and if you guys are not in a relationship possibly you might meet somebody so that is what we have and then we have the 10th house Ooh, penthouse house is about authority it's about our reputation it's a capricorn energy so um it is a blessing for you so your reputation somehow might be changing to something better to even a better reputation like to a positive one i'm not saying it was negative it just feels like it gets uh it gets a boost a very positive boost i feel like family traditions or family event or so is some uh, like big energy this month i don't know exactly what it is but something in regard to family family's wealth inheritance as well all right this looks amazing in general for you group of three so have fun this month let me know in the comments how did you guys like this reading if you know already uh what is what <laughs> if you figured it all out already let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys in my next one. Oh, don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel have a good day bye